Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for European and Euro-Asian Affairs, Thomas Countryman, said a clear message to the Albanian political class, saying that blocking of elections is an unconstitutional act that a democracy does not merit. Countrymen visited Tirana Wednesday and held meetings with leaders of both wings of the Albanian politics following a crisis caused by January 21st events. At a news conference at the U.S. Embassy venues, he mentioned several issues, including June 28, 2009 elections contested by opposition and May 8 elections. In the case of Albania, it is important that disputes about past elections be addressed through the constitutional means that have been established here. It is even more important for parties and citizens to learn from each experience of imperfect elections. The uh, OSCE and the ODIR office has helped by creating a comprehensive list of what needs to be fixed in Albania's electoral system. And I repeat, as we've said before, our disappointment that the government and the opposition have not found a way of working together and compromising and adopting exactly those recommendations. When there is a deficit of democracy, the obvious answer is more democracy. And that is why it is our firm belief that the local elections scheduled for this year must go forward. The people of Albania deserve the right to choose between parties, which means parties should participate in such elections. Referring to protests, U.S. officials said that they are a right of the citizens and government has the obligation not to block them, whereas the demonstrators and parties organizing them should make sure they will be peaceful. This right has been exercised and has been protected in Albania hundreds of times over the last several years. The question we have, and I think everyone in Albania ought to have, is why after hundreds of peaceful protests, the protest of January 21st ended in violence. I do not have an answer for that question, and I think it is irresponsible to speculate on the answer to that question. Rather, we have a constitutional means to address that question, and that is the effort of the Prosecutor General to investigate the events of January 21st. We support the independence of the Prosecutor General who must be able to do her job without political pressure. And in our view, there are two important responsibilities that must be respected. The first is a thorough and balanced investigation to investigate the actions of all the actors on January 21st. And that includes the actions of the police and security force, the actions of demonstrators, and the actions of the organizer demonstration. Second, the prosecutor general has an obligation, in our view, to protect the security of information. Countryman considers as serious the situation in Albania, where four persons died in January 21st violent events, underlining that what is happening in Albania is not unique. We need to say that we are saddened by the deaths of four Albanian citizens in recent events. Let me also begin by saying that it is not our purpose in our public statements or our our private meetings to endorse or oppose the position of one party or another party. Our concern is for the people of Albania and for the constitution of Albania. Albania is a unique country, but the recent events are not as unique as you might think. Albania is not the only Western democracy and the only NATO member that has a problem with corruption. Albania is not the only European democracy that has had experience with imperfect and controversial election. And Albania is not the only European democracy that employs protest as a means of political expression. And sadly, it is not the only European democracy 
that has seen protests end in violence. 